Hello the internet, welcome back. My name is Awful. I am your host for another episode in the world of RIMS. I hope you're having a great day. Um, if you watched the last episode, you know that we made some silly mistakes. I made some silly mistakes that got some people killed. Well, got Gates killed. She was our surgeon. Um, we're all quite upset. We're all quite broken up about it, if I'm honest. And now we have man-eating rhinoceroses that want to, well, eat us. So what we're going to do is prioritize getting this stuff cleaned out and built. Um, and if you guys are wondering why the episode picks up right at the end of the last episode, it's because I don't want to hide anything from you guys. I want to keep this series um, genuine and, you know, straight through, start to finish. So I'm going to try not to do anything off camera in between episodes. Um, let's see. What do we know about the world right now? We know that... It's zero degrees outside and it's cold, so why don't we go ahead and make the people that are awake put some parkas on. They're not going to like it because the parkas belong to dead people, but I'm not too concerned about it. Um, they are pretty stressed out in general. Uh, awful bedroom. Rebuffed by Izzy. Oh, she she's into the ladies. That's okay. This place is unbearable. Get me out of here. Oh, yeah. Her room is terrible. So what can we do to make her happier? Hmm. To be honest, I'm not too concerned about her happiness. I got two goals for today. Goal number one... Uh, goal number one is food, right? We need to get the food situation handled. I think two of these per meal, and then we got some potatoes left over. I think we've got like 21-ish meals. And I want to get the defenses rallied because it's only a matter of time before Rim World throws something else at us that's going to ruin our day. So, did I say defenses rallied? 45. Fortified. So here's what I want to do. I want to leave this stuff sort of where it is. But you know how I said this is the worst defense idea ever because they funnel through here and... Our people are likely to step on it, and they don't really kill that many people anyway. Guys, what if? What if? Stick with me. What if I could build and talk at the same time? What if we just took this and we extended it out? And we made an even bigger funnel for them to walk through. Hear me out. Hear me out. So, if we funnel them like this in this sort of fashion and we block all this off and we just fill it with deadfall traps it doesn't matter if they send like 15 guys at us right because they're going to have to walk over the traps and the traps will trigger mostly so then we just clean up whatever's left I think and once we get into the turret land we'll put some turrets here I think if the deadfall traps don't kill everything the turrets will kill what's left and we should be good right right all right so that's our plan um, but we need to clean this out but I can't with the man eating rhinoceros is here. So we're just gonna have to wait for that event to end. Um, but what we can do is take a look around and see what we wanna do next. So there's some stuff we can hunt, which is good, because we need food. Is there still a mean dog guy out here? Yeah, so there's a mean dog guy, mean dog girl. We're gonna have to kill her. Um, I think we can just dispatch all of our homies at once and kill the mean dog. And then uh, we should be good to go. We can clean up the dead corpses. We can cook them up. We can hunt the stuff that isn't in packs. Oh, there's some more carnivores. So the way the game works is if I come out here and I shoot at a muffalo, all the muffalos are going to attack me. And likewise, if I shoot at a deer, all the deer are going to attack me because it's not like real life where if you shoot at a deer, they run. The deer actually gang up and try to trample you. So what we want to do is try to shoot stuff or hunt stuff that we can actually handle. Um... Now, why are we running on one speed? Let's run on three speed. So that's that's our rough plan for today, guys. Fortify the defenses, get the food situation okay, and then um, try to improve the lives of these people. I think we can tear this down. So what are you doing? Oh, right, right, right. So here's something that we need to enforce. I think this makes a big difference. So you put two-hour windows on the end of their workday for joy. So you force them to enjoy for four hours a day. And I think that actually improves their well-being by quite a bit. So um, as I was saying, I don't know if it'll reach, but we can actually replace this old wooden stove with an electric stove. 
and melee walked over another trap. That's it. How do we rename a person? Character. All right. New nickname. Melee henceforth shall be known as Clumsy. Because Clumsy likes to step on the traps. And then she has to walk over here to the hospital bed and rest off her wounds. So I'm not down with that. That's really frustrating. Maybe we'll just find a way to forbid Clumsy from ever going through here. Because she seems to be the only one that ever sets off the traps. But so a short term, we're going to clean this out. We're going to get some traps rebuilt in case we get raided again. Um, yeah, yeah, Melee, Melee, the artist formerly known as Melee, now known as Clumsy, uh, stepped on a trap. We can deconstruct this while this is going on, and uh, maybe after the food's cooked, we'll deconstruct that, we're going to put an electric stove right there. It's going to make our lives way better, because then we don't have to worry about refilling it. So Darcy, deconstructing field stove, great, great, great. Break that-ish apart. Is he failed while constructing deadfall trap? Oh, okay. That's fine. Wait, don't leave me, Darcy. Electric stove, right in the same place. Electric stove will have workplace temp penalty bad temperature. That's fine. All right, build it up. Hauling steel. How are they doing on that steel mine? Their steel vein. They're doing pretty well, all things considered. All right, Dietrich is healed up. Um, he's in a hideous environment, so he's not going to want to join us. Because why would he, right? Like, hey, you should join us. And he says, well, you treated me like garbage, and your place looks like garbage. I'll just walk back and forth for 18 hours. So, they're going to build up the stove, and then we won't have to refill it with wood. So that's a big quality of life improvement. Uh, we need some bills. Simple meal. Do forever. This is the easiest way. Details. Drop on floor. Boom. All done. So now... Whoever feels like cooking can still cook. Um, is this stuff harvestable? 60% grown. I don't think we can harvest any of this. I think we're just sort of SOL. We made all these growing zones and nothing grew. Don't worry. When spring rolls around, we'll, we'll improve this. Look at all this ground we have. We can make huge farms and then we can grow enough food during spring to feed us for the rest of the year. Or during spring and summer anyway. We won't worry about it. Um... How about some quality of life improvement for these guys? So these guys don't have the hideous environment, do they? They have ugly environment. So that's a step up. So what we can do is put in some wood in these guys' rooms. So that should make them a bit happier. Do they have anything else going on? We're in a dead man's parka. That's fine. You're going to have to get over that. Tons of joy. This seems kind of counterintuitive. She's super happy that her friend died and that she's wearing a dead man's parka and her clothes are worn out and she got an awful bedroom. Why is your bedroom awful though? Really? I mean, I appreciate the shout out, but why is it so bad? What's so bad about it? All right, are the rhinoceroses still running amok? They still are running amok. Ay ay ay. All right, so what we want to do is actually just fill this guy up. And we'll deal with that later. But Here's our plan. All right, no, 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 no. Okay, guys, a little bit out of myself. Let's cancel this. Let's get the wall built first. And then maybe we can sequentially build the traps this way and like just lock ourselves in and not have to deal with it. That would be ideal. And then we can, oh. A mid-world chef named Sean Hunt calls from you, calls to you, calls you, calls you from nearby. He's being chased by pirates from the nutty lineup. Begs for safety and offers to join your colony. He's 47 years old. He's a man. He can fertilize our women, except for the one that's into chicks. And we can make more, more colonists. So we will offer him safety. How many people are following you, Sean? That's what I want to know. Um, hmm. This might be bad, because the man eating rhinoceros is still right there. So we're going to have to micro Sean around the rhino. That shouldn't be too bad. So let's just go ahead and let him run the course he's running. Oh my goodness. Somehow the rhino can smell blood. And here he goes. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. So we're going to have to give the rhino the runaround. I don't remember if we did. We did do this once before. So I'm not entirely sure what the mechanics are here. But maybe we can use this thing. All right. 
before we start going anywhere. Okay, there's a bunch. Was that six? Yeah. Man, this game just does not mess around. All right. So what we want to do is get the rhino to attack those guys if we can. But I'm going to try to kite the rhino around this rock maybe? Let's see how this works. Which way does he go? All right, so he goes that way. We go this way. We are running for our lives. Run, Sean. Run like you've never run. Move your little stump. They don't have legs, right? These guys, they don't have legs. They have like a, a trackball or something for legs, for feet. Run, Sean. Run. Wait, Izzy, what are you doing? No, 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 no. No, 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 no. You're back in there. All right. We're good. We're good. Run, Sean. Duck and weave. Duck and weave. Duck and weave. Get in. Yes, yes, yes. Get in the base. Forbid the door. Everybody's happy. You can undo that. She doesn't have any idea what to do anymore. You can... Hmm. Hold on. Let's learn about the character. He's not good at any of that stuff. Except for cooking. So, let's give him some work, shall we? He can mine. He can cook. Let's move everybody else down a notch to make things smarter. Uh, growers are good. Four. Four. Uh, bed rest one, patient one, firefight one, and doctor three. Yeah, yeah, why not? And then everybody has flick of three because I don't ever use it. Um, and I think we're good. So here's what I'm hoping will happen: that rhinoceros will kick some ass. So can I have a rocket launcher? Triple rocket launcher, cheese and rice. All right, Sean needs a weapon of some flavor. How about that? Superior ranged weapon. Oh, it worked. Great success. We need a name for him. Rodney? Rodney. Rodney the Rhino is just straight up chasing off the guys that wanted to murder us. And all we had to do was give him the runaround, and now we're totally fine. Look at him go. Rodney the Rhino killed two dudes all on his own. Just, oh. He didn't. He killed one dudes, and one dudes is still there. I can capture that dudes. I know, guys. We're lo we're low on resources, and we already have a prisoner. But but just stick with me. What if we did this? Just what if we did this, guys? We can capture that guy. How many people do we have? One, two, three, four, five. We need one, two, three, four. We need another bed. We need another bed. I know, people are going to be doubled up. That's okay. So we've got five beds for our five people, and then two beds for two prisoners, and we can recruit them, and everybody will be so happy, except for this chick that's currently vomiting. She must really dislike mining. All right, so she's mo she's vomiting. That's okay. Um, let's get some hmm, construction. Let's get some beds going, and then somebody needs to come out here and capture this guy. How about Lubov? So Lubov is... <laughs> She's our one-armed, if you guys haven't watched. She's only got an arm, just one. Doesn't show here. Manipulation, yeah. She's not good at manipulating because she only has one arm. But she can carry really well for some reason. So we're going to capture that guy. We're going to bring him home. Hopefully she doesn't set off any traps. Clumsy, what are you doing? Hauling him to let the body sit right here. And the rhinoceros is still out there and still manhunting. So clumsy, how about you don't do that? Oh, get in the base, get in the base, get in the base. Forbid the door. Ha! Take that. Clumsy. Haul this. Get that out of the way. Alright, everybody's happy. Bulk traders. Caravan from Ed Butt Hippo is approaching. They're a bulk goods trader. They'll hang around the colony for a few days. You can attack them, but this will anger their faction. Uh, no. And actually, where's Rodney the Rhino? I thought Rodney the Rhino would f go after them for sure. We can trade them. This is the good news: is we can send somebody out to sell all of our crap to them, which is actually what I want to do. We've got so much random crap here. Um, who's got the best people skills? Clumsy has the best people skills. That's too bad. We're going to send Sean to talk. We're going to unforbid the door. Sean is going to go trade. And we're going to intercept anybody else that tries to get out this door. Or, or, whoa! Izzy, no. 
Just stop. Just stop. What we want to do here is just sell all of the clothes that we've picked up that we're not ever going to use. Because they're just decomposing out in the, the environment right now. So like this Synthread jacket is actually worth a bunch of money. So we just sell all that. Sell all this crap. We can make any clothes we don't have. I'm not too worried about it. Uh, we might want to keep one parka because Sean doesn't have one. Um. <laughs> oh, wait. Where's the ones that we're giving away? Yeah, let's just keep that. Alright, so we'll keep one parka for Sean in case he needs it. Uh, they do have food. They've also got a lab. They've got pigs, but they're both male. Hmm. So what you can do is you can buy animals in pairs and breed them. And then you can slaughter them or shear them or milk them or uh, turn them into an army, whatever you want. Oh, they won't trade people. That's too bad. Alright, so I think I'm okay with that. I don't really... We don't have a, a huge need for anything. Um, they've got 192 raw beef. But at 10 bucks a meal, that's not a very good trade. So what we're going to do is we're just going to sell this crap and make 600 bucks and call it good. And then... Wow, that's a lot of pixels. Sean, where are you going, man? Uh, where's the rhino? Where's the warg? Oh, man, I think the rhino's gone, so we're okay to have people out here. You're hauling that guy away. Uh, we should strip him. But Clumsy, you don't leave the base, girl. Uh-uh. We need to forbid Clumsy from leaving. Should we try it? Should we let her try? Alright, we'll let her try. And we'll let we'll let these people do their thing. I think the rhino's gone. I think we're okay. We'll keep a close eye on Sean as he comes out of the base. Because there's a bear and a bunch of other crap over here. Uh, I don't know why that guy's there. I don't know why you're going for that one. There's a puma right there. Why don't you... The puma's going to attack him for sure. Alright. We made it. The puma didn't attack. We do need to come kill this warg at some point. I want somebody to come grab this. Clumsy, what are you doing? Alright, on your way back, Clumsy, you are going to grab that rocket launcher thing. You are going to haul that rocket launcher. Actually, why don't we let Clumsy use the rocket launcher? I don't know. I've never had anybody... I've never had a rocket launcher. So who's our best shot? Darcy should have the rocket launcher, right? I think so. Is everybody in the base? Uh, except for Izzy. Why are you sleeping right there? Oh my gosh, she locked herself in. What? The crap! She actually locked herself in! Alright, Izzy, you gotta mine your way out of this. This is so stupid. I've seen a lot of stupid stuff. That's the most stupid that I've seen in a game in a long time. How does she lock herself in? That's totally ridiculous. Anyway, that guy's no longer incapable of walking. He's hungry. He's doing okay health-wise. I want to recruit him. 96% difficulty. Ay ay ay. All right. So we want to recruit him. Um, we want to clean the rooms. And what do we, guys? If you're watching, you obviously you're watching. If you can hear me talk, you need to. Can you fill me in on how to improve the the beauty of a room? Like, is that mental? Break Berserk. Ay yay yay. Hold on. Don't we have people assigned to wardening? So this guy's gonna punch down a wooden door. And then we're gonna have to deal with it. Anyway, we need to increase the beauty of a room. <sighs> Darcy, don't kill him. Just incapacitate him. He's coming to help. Attempting to recruit York. Alright. 
Capture him. We need another door. But why build a, a wooden door when really what we want is a door that we can take for granted. <laughs> so she's going to carry him in there. We'll put another granite door. This guy took a really weird path. Oh, did he take that path because they can't walk past each other? That might be something that we overlooked. I thought we could get away with single wide paths. Maybe we need double wide paths. Hmm. That might change a lot. But since we're going to have to redo the rooms anyway, maybe not a big deal. Alright, we need people that can clean to clean. I want Dietrich to join. Actually, we're going to make cleaning... Clumsy, your number one priority now is to clean. Okay, that's just it. That's all you get to do. Because, well, you're not good at walking. So you might as well clean. Darcy's injured and sick still. And a moderate amount of pain. Urgently hungry. Izzy is our doctor. Why don't you treat Darcy? Is she still hungry? Alright, Sean's feeding Darcy. I think we're doing okay. Clumsy's cleaning. Oh, life is looking pretty good. The Rhymnoceros left us alone after all. Um, we do need to go deal with the warg and then do some hunting. Because we only have four meals. So, Darcy, are you capable of doing stuff? No. Character. We need whoever can shoot. Darcy's our best shot. I want to give Darcy the rocket launcher and let her go try to hunt with it. Alright, so we're going to wait for Darcy to recover and then we're going to go hunting. I think. I think we have enough time for that. I really hope so. Come on, Darcy. Come on, Darcy. Pop right up. We have to go kill that warg, and then after that, I think it's pretty easy, straightforward hunting type of stuff. Darcy's she's injured because Dietrich like bit her on his way out, right? Sean is wardening, even though he shouldn't really be. Seven, six, and ten. But Sean doesn't do much else except for cook. And we're totally out of food. Alright, Darcy. Can you come kill the warg? Please. Would you do that for me? Would you... <sighs> There's a wolf. There's a bunch of stuff now. A cougar. A bear. A wolf. A mega sloth. I don't think the mega sloth will attack us. But... The... Warg definitely will. If we're in his way. But I don't know where he went. Did he get eaten by something? Bum, bum, bum. There he is. Injured. So, what if we just bring Darcy and whoever else has a gun currently? <laughs> Darcy and Clumsy. Nope, just Darcy. We need you to hunt, girl. It's imperative. So, you're going to come out here and hunt... Ay ay ay. I this just is really, really bad. Any way you look at it, this is bad. Let's let the clock go a little bit. So they need to we're out of food. We're we're flat out of food. Let's see. Let's just put firearms in the hands of literally everyone that can shoot. So Darcy can shoot. Izzy cannot shoot. Clumsy can shoot. Sean could shoot if he had a gun. We could give him grenades. Where's our rocket launcher? Darcy's fully healed. Alright, Darcy, equip the rocket launcher. Uh, okay, and then Darcy and Clumsy. Sean could shoot, right? So Sean, come grab the rifle. Clumsy, Sean. We want to recruit as soon as Sean picks that thing up. Cha-ching! Alright. So, we're coming out here. We're going to kill that warg that's almost dead. While they're sleeping, maybe it'll give us a good head start. And then we're going to kill just some more stuff while we're out here. Where'd it go? Here, wargy wargy warg. <laughs> Magic disappearing warg. Uh, there's a squirrel. We can shoot rockets at the squirrel. I have no idea where the warg went. Okay. There's more peaceful stuff up here. Maybe we'll go to the north and hunt. 
I want to find that warg though. What in the world? Am I just not seeing it? Guys, where did the warg go? There's a turkey and an alpaca. There he is. Here, let's go down here and attack the warg. Uh, go here. Yum. All right. Attack the warg. Shoot at it with your rocket launcher, Darcy. Shoot it! What happens if you shoot it with a rocket launcher? <laughs> She's missed twice. Clumsy major break risk. Urgently hungry. Yeah, we're trying to fix that girl. Dang. Oh no! He's on the move! Alright. Darcy back off and Clumsy and Sean kill the warg. Hold on. Consuming kibble. Will you prioritize hunting the turkey? I'm thinking that the incendiary launcher is a bad idea for hunting. Oh no. Is something on fire? No, surprisingly. We just lost power. That's fine. Oh gosh, this is so bad. Is he dead? He's dead. Um, Alright, unrecruit. Cannot haul it because it's burning? Oh my god! Alright. Change of plan. Drop the rifle. Gear. Drop the rifle, man. Just drop it. And then... Darcy, turkey revenge. Ay yay yay. Attack the turkey. Darcy, equip the rifle. Oh my gosh, she just shot Sean. This is a huge disaster. Darcy, kill the turkey. Sean, equip the launcher. And then go over here. No, 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 no. Don't shoot the thing with the launcher. Alright, Sean, unrecruit. Can you haul? Who will never do hauling? I'll never do hauling. Uh, unrecruit. Haul the turkey! Darcy, where are you going? Consuming kibble. We need to hunt more stuff, Darcy. I'm sorry, but that's just the way it is. We're gonna hunt that turkey. I told you guys, we're going to fortify the defenses and we're going to hunt. That's what we're going to do today. And I know the episodes are getting long, but we got to do this hunting. we got to get some food for these people. They're hungry. They're going to eat kibble. And there's a f puma right there. Right, is she butchering? She's hauling the turkey. Hunt the squirrel. Somebody else can come haul that guy. One more. Come on, Darcy. You're doing so well. Hopefully the puma doesn't eat the turkey. Clumsy, what you doing? Hauling dead squirrel to the fridge. Nice, except you should haul the turkey. That would be better. She's so close to going berserk. All right, we're gonna let Me we're gonna let Clumsy, the artist formerly known as Melee, do whatever she wants next. What are these guys doing? Consuming kibble, consuming kibble. What? We have no power for our stove. So we can't cook the food that we brought. I think. Can you still... Alcohol binge? That's forbidden. Does she drink the forbidden beer? Lubov, what you doing, girl? Butchering. Okay, so she'll butcher, but... Will she not cook? She can't cook because there's no power. And there's no power because there's a hole in our grid. And that's it. So if somebody, anybody, will come here and fix this, we're good to go. Extreme break risk. <laughs> oh gosh. Clumsy's no longer binging on alcohol. Ay ay ay. We gotta get these people happy. This is nuts. Sean is fully healed. Clumsy's no longer binging. Gates is still dead. Rip Gates. Your naked body's over there. Izzy failed while constructing granite wall. Okay, that's fine. We can strip these people. Doesn't really make a lot of sense, though. 
All right, Lubov, cook. You need materials. Cook. Every colonist of the female gender. So all my people that were already barely hanging on are now going to be so irate. Plain horseshoes. All right. All right, whatever. Just let them do their thing. We do need lots more food, though. Those... Oh, we're down to one meal already? A local muffalo has gone mad. Ay ay ay. Alright, is it just the one? It's just the one. I'm not entirely sure what to do. We'll forbid the door for now. This episode's getting long. I'm sorry, guys. We... <laughs> We sort of accomplished what we wanted to, which was get the defenses shored up. Um, we've got some grand plans for things in the future, and um, we mostly got ourselves in trouble. But we do have two prisoners that we can try to recruit, and that's going to be our objective next time. Um, well, I don't know. I guess I can't say that because it's just totally random number generator, and as long as people are trying, they're trying. So we'll continue to do the things we always try to do. We try to get more food, and we try to make better defenses. So, thank you guys for tuning in. I'm having a blast making videos. Let me know what you think. Hit the subscribe button if you really like it. Leave me a message if you didn't like it, whatever. My name is Awful. Thanks for tuning in. Have a wonderful day.